Hi seniors, this is the information for S4, 5 and 6 about the return to school from the 15th of March. All seniors will pretty much be returning on a full-time basis from Monday to Thursday. We will continue with the two blocks of learning a day. We will be using remote learning on a Friday, so the majority of students will be at home on a Friday learning from home. However, we have allocated and we're trying to build up a timetable to support learning for specific year groups and classes within school on a Friday. So this will be communicated directly with you via Teams if you are in one of the classes where you would require additional time in school. So for example, I've put in there the Nat4 Apps class. Because that is a split class, we would like to maybe get some of you in on a small group basis to get through some of the coursework and it will might be the same for other practical subjects as well. So you're going to remain, as I say, on the two block a day. So similar to what we've been doing at home and similar to what the seniors have been doing on a practical basis when they're in school, you have your morning subject and you have your afternoon subject. And we've agreed as a staff, although I think it's column C that benefits just once more in the week, that we are going to keep this timetable that we're running from the 15th the same for the three weeks until the Easter holiday. So once we know what we're doing for this week, then it will be the same the following weeks because we have had to split some classes because of the reduction in the numbers we can have in class at one time because of the two metre distancing. You will see some information start to come out to say this is the A half of a math class and this is the B half of the math class. A half is to be in school. B half is to be learning at home for week one and in the following week it will switch around and you will be alerted to the times that you need to be in school. So as I say, we can only have a limited number of pupils in school in classes at the moment, but because of the structure we've got in the school, we have areas like our two games halls set up. We have, we're setting up the drama studio. We've got the assessment room. We've got the canteen and these will be areas that are used within the day to try and get as many people possible in, in a two meter distanced area. So you'll start to see on timetables, you know, you may not be in the room that you're normally in, but it, you will be with the teacher that you're normally with, but just in a different venue. So when you come into school, we are still testing, staff are still testing twice a week and seniors are also still going to be testing twice a week and logging the results on our own school system that you have the QR code for and you also have a link for in your Teams registration page and you also need to still be recording it on the government website. If you have not been in school because you don't do any practical subjects and your first day will be Monday of next week, what we're asking you to do is we're asking you to come in slightly earlier than you would be to access learning because we'll go through the process with you about how to test. And once we've been through that process once with you, you'll get the kits home and you can therefore then self-test at home. And once you log on the system, we know that these two weeks, uh, two times a week tests are being done. If you need more tests because you've been accessing over the practical subjects, please feel free to grab them when you're next in or contact the office and come up and collect some because we are ideally wanting to reduce the, the risk to everybody within school. So if before coming back on the Monday, pupils can test it like staff do on the Sunday evening and record your results, it just gives a little bit extra security to everybody to know that um, everybody's currently negative for COVID at that time. So we've had to change the day structure slightly because all year groups that are accessing schools will access at slightly different times. So as seniors, S4, 5 and 6, you're going to start at 9 and your first session will run till 11.45. So on the first day, and only those who have not yet tested, you need to come in for 8.30 on the Monday. After that, it will go from 9 till 11.45. 11.45 till 12.15 will be your lunch. Again, you cannot leave the school grounds at that time, so you either need to bring a packed lunch with you or you can um, access free school meals or you can access bring in money and you can um, buy from the cafeteria and these will be delivered to areas with, where you're working. So really you will only come into contact with two sets of people a day. At the most you'll have your morning subject with one teacher, you'll have your lunch within that area and then you will have your afternoon session from 12.15 to 2.45. 
So within these times, there will be natural times for breaks. You know, you can also bring in a break and a snack and something um, to drink, something for the afternoon. You will obviously be allowed to go to the toilet within these times, but we are trying to reduce the contacts within the school to keep everybody safe so that if we had a positive case, we're not needing to ask too many young people to isolate. So at the end of the day, 2.45, um, you are free to leave the school and you need to remain at a two metre distance while you're making your way home. And we're just asking people not to congregate at this in the grounds before school or after school. I'm going to share the timetable on Teams a bit later on this week just to show what subjects are on at the time. And as I say, this timetable then will remain for the following three weeks up until the Easter holidays. So the majority of subjects get, we've managed to get it into an area where we can get the majority of the class in the full class, but there are some classes like your health and food technology, um, like fashion, like English and maths that at times in the week need to split because we are bringing back um, our junior school, S1 or 2, each for two days, and we're bringing back our third years and we're bringing back our seniors. So we've got a lot of people in the building, um, as much time as we can with a member of staff teaching you. So this just makes sure that the plan works and we're trying to keep everybody safe. So if you have any questions, please do get in touch with us, 661-1282 for the school, or email me at nicola.downey at castlebray.edin.sch.uk. So what you need to remember is testing for seniors before you enter twice a week, masks at all times, it's a nine o'clock start and a 2.45 finish. You need to bring something with you for your lunch and please take time to look at the timetables beforehand to make sure you know what subject you're coming in for. Don't worry about your uniform. You can wear whatever clothes you need to wear to keep warm because we will be having extra ventilation and the windows open. And take your time to work out, are you an A half of a class or a B half of the class? A half will be entering the first week B half will be it the second week, and then we will look at what's going to happen for week three after that. So I know it's a lot of information and a letter will follow, but all the information I'm going to communicate will also come via this Teams page. Okay, really looking forward to having you back next week, and I hope you're all well.